welcome to our weekly Facebook Live Crafty Session. I have missed you guys. It has been two weeks since I've gone live and I'm going to explain to you where I have been. But for right now, I'm gonna check my settings and make sure that everything looks good. So, welcome, welcome to my craft room, aka my happy place, and welcome to our weekly crafty session. Usually each week I go live around seven, I was going seven, but I'm gonna do 7.30, um, just as the nights get darker, um, I, there's things I need to do before I can pop on, like walk my puppy, make supper. Um, and I just don't want to feel rushed, so this gives me that extra half hour just to get some stuff done. Um, and my, so yes, welcome. So my name, if you don't know me, my name is Anne Granger, and I'm an independent demonstrator here in southwestern Ontario. I live in a small little town named Dorchester, and I'm excited to be with you guys tonight. I have missed all of you. I've missed crafting with you. So let me catch you up while I check my settings and share this to my Facebook group. Um, so I didn't go live two weeks ago because I had a big demonstrator event on the Saturday and I needed the night to finish prepping for it. It was an amazing day. Uh, we had 20 ladies there and it just filled my bucket to like, oh my gosh, it really did fill my bucket. Uh, we stamped, we laughed, we saw presentations, we were inspired and I do believe each one of us went home with a bigger shopping list than what we came with. Um, and was amazing. It was just amazing. We had a hot chocolate bar. Like I said, the best, the thing that could make that day even more perfect was if it snowed, but it didn't. Um, and our theme was Christmas, the holiday catalog. So we focused on the berry Christmas sweet and the joyful Christmas sweet. And I will show you some of those projects down the road. Then... It was Saturday and then all of a sudden I got sick last week. I was out and down for a whole week. So I wasn't even in my craft room. So you know I'm sick when I'm not in my craft room and when I'm literally laying on the couch. I never sit up like I'm not one to um, uh, like watch TV. So I'm always keeping myself busy. So yeah, so needless to say, I was not feeling the best. But I'm here. I'm excited to be with you. Um, I'm still not 100%, but I'm getting there. I'm just tired, and I think that will come with time. So if you're here, say hi. If you're watching me live, so today is Wednesday, November 1st. You're going to see a red live button. And if you're watching the replay, you are catching a replay of my weekly Facebook Live. So welcome, welcome. Whether you're watching me live or watching me on the replay, I do hope you interact. Say hello. Tell me where you're from, where you're watching from. And make sure you share this video with your crafty friends. We want everyone joining this hobby. We want everyone part of our crafting community. That's my vision for this year is I want to reach as many people as I can and help them. I feel that everyone should have a hobby and everyone should craft together and no one should be not having a friend to craft with. So that is my mission this year. So as I said, I always like to share with you, I have my cup. Look at my, it, it actually snowed here today um, and it made me feel festive. I was like, yeah, like I was, I work at a school and the kids were all like, it's snowing, Mrs. Granger. And I was like, yes, it is. So I have my cup and I will be putting some yummy hot chocolate in it when I'm done. So I didn't want to put that in there because now, because it'll get cold by the time I'm done. And if you know, I know I'm a huge chocolate lover. So I have my chocolate. These are chocolates from Rio Thompson. Um, they are a place in Stratford, Ontario. My daughter got them for me and oh my gosh, they're my favorite. I have to hide them because that's how good they are. Um, so I'm ready to craft. I have my hot drink. I have my chocolate and the only other thing I need is music, but I can't play music and talk to you at the same time. So we're just going to get crafting. So hello, hello. Hey, Ashley. Hello, Laura. I hope you guys are having a great night and thanks for joining me. All right. So tonight, before I flip the camera, I'm actually going to see if I can pull you up there. We are going to be creating um, a technique card tonight. Um, I've seen this on other demonstrator friends. I've seen this on Pinterest and it's called the stack and shuffle or stack cut and shuffle. I'm going to call it the stack and shuffle. And as I was looking through the stamp sets that I haven't used yet, I was like, we really need to use this more wishes. When I saw this stamp set, I was like, yes, I need to have this. A, I love the big, bold greetings and I love the cursive. But the one thing I love about it is you can mix and match. And we're going to show you that tonight. 
So I'm going to flip my camera and we are going to get started with our crafty session. I have, we're going to make three cards tonight and then I actually made three extra cards to share you with you to give you an idea. And then I have another sample. So let's get ready. I'm going to flip the camera so you're going to see my blinds and then I'm going to flip you up and then you're going to be able to see my view. So you should see my projects. And I'm actually just going to move you down a bit because I feel like here I'm reaching. Okay, so we are using the More Wishes stamp set. As I said to you, this is a photo Palmer. Oh, we're getting a bit of a glare here. We're, hmm. there. It's a photo Palmer stamp set. And I, like I said to you, I love the cursive. I love it. You could use this from Christmas, New Year's, love. I actually thought about like getting a birthday wishes. We do have one that is in the annual catalog that goes with it. So you could totally do birthday wishes. Um, I even wanted to do merry wishes, but I was like, mm, don't think that really makes sense. So that is what we're showing you tonight. Um, and then I have some other products I want to share with you that we are using. I've already done some die cutting because when I prep on the weekend, I just kind of get in the habit of like creating everything. So we are using the stylish shape dies. If you know me, you know I'm a huge fan of the stylish of anything that is stitched. I just love that look it gives on a card. So that is one of the other products we are using tonight. And the paper that I'm using is finally, I believe, back in stock. I didn't get a chance to check before I came on. But this one is called Winter Mellow. Meadow. 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 <laughs> and it is beautiful. Like, it is a landscape um, scene. Like, look at that. Just absolutely gorgeous. Uh, pretty blues, um, greens, and grays. Like, look at this one with the reindeer. Um, this one here, you could cut this in half and then you could create your card fronts with it. Um, this one reminds me of like berries, like a holly berry, which reminds me of my grandmother. And then this one, doesn't that look like frost on like a car? We had frost on our cars this morning and I had to skate or scrape. I was not happy. Um, trust me, I like the cold. Like I like the snow when it starts snowing, but then yeah, I'm like ready to move on. I just think it's more magical for Christmas. Which someone pointed out today, there's only eight more Fridays to Christmas. And I was like, yikes. Um, so beautiful snow scene. And then the grays. I love this one. Um, and then some more beautiful blues. So it is really gorgeous paper. Um, and we're going to be using this paper tonight. So let's get started. Let me just put this back in here. And move this out of my way. I'm actually just going to throw it over there. Okay. So for our project tonight, it is called Stack and Shuffle. So I saw this and then I decided I was going to look for some friends and I actually um, watched my friend Patty Bennett's video and I really liked what she was doing. So I just thought, you know what? I'm gonna give it a try. And so this is what we're going to create. We need three card bases and it's going to be four and a quarter by 11 scored at five and a half. You need three. I'm using white because I wanted it to look like very frosty, Christmassy. Um, and I will provide you all these measurements. This video will be uploaded to my blog. I'm going to do it for Friday and it will also be uploaded to my YouTube channel. So just sit back and watch and, to, and then ask questions, say hello, comment, share this video with your friends. And then not to worry, I will put all the measurements, like I said, up in the video. I'm not seeing, um, yeah, okay. If you're commenting and I miss it, not to worry, I will go back and see it after this video. So I already cut out uh, three of the um, white, basic white stylish shaped dies. So as I said to you, I really like how it has this stitched look. I think that is so cool. I really like that. So I've done three already. And then I have three card bases, I mean layers, and these are four by five and a quarter, and I'm using Lost Lagoon, which I'm so excited this color came back into the color palettes because it was one of my favorite colors when it was um, in the color collections a few years ago. I really liked it. So I have those. So we have all those. And then we're using um, Lost Lagoon and Pretty Peacock. Oh, I was so excited when Pretty Peacock came back. I love these colors. Like, aren't they just a pretty blue color, like frosty for Christmas or winter scenes? And then as I showed you earlier, we're using the More Wishes stamp set. 
And the last thing that I will be sharing with you is the embellishments that we will be losing. Now, I do know these are not currently available, but a lot of stuff is due back in the next two weeks in the warehouse, so keep an eye. We are using the Loose Holiday Gems and Sequence. Look at that. Now, I'm going to close this because I really don't want these to dump out on my table. That would not be a fun mess with a puppy. All right. So I have three pieces of designer series paper. We're using that winter metal. And my paper measures three and three quarter by five. So I have the trees with that one. I really wanted a dark blue. And then I have that one. And then I have this one reminds me of like ice, like a frozen pond or rink and then the tree. So that's the back side of that. We're going to put them together. So just like this. And what we're gonna do is we're going to bring in our cutter. This is our Stampin' Up! cutter. I love it because it has a score braid and a cutting blade all at once. So I'm going to put them in, and as you can see, it measures three and three quarters. But what we're going to do is we're going to cut on an angle. And from what I've watched and looked at other people's projects, just to kind of see an idea, there's no right or wrong for cutting. It's just depending how you do it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I want this to be like roughly like an inch here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of try to cut on an angle. So let me bring that up. So I'm going to cut right here on an angle. So that gets me one cut. And then I'm going to turn it and put this cut here. And like I said, there's no right or wrong. Um, each time I did this, I had different cuts. And like I said, it doesn't matter. It just depends the way you cut. So we have three pieces. I'm actually going to move this out of my way. So we have three pieces. So we have a big, a big, and a big, okay? Then we have three of these pieces. So what I'm going to do is kind of like match. I don't want to put those together, but I do like that together. And then I'm going to put this one here, and I'm going to put this one here. So see how I have the three pieces matching like that? And then I'm going to bring in this small one. So obviously I don't want to put the trees with the trees. I'm going to go this way. And I'm going to bring in that light color there. And I'm going to put this here. So this is called the stack and shuffle. You stack your cards, your DSP, you cut, and you shuffle. So you're making three cards. As I said, it doesn't really matter how you do the cut as long as you get three different size pieces. So we're just going to move these out of the way. And I'm going to bring in our cardstock. So I'm going to bring in our first one. And when I did this, I kind of wanted to make sure I laid it down first. I didn't want to glue because you don't want to be off on the angle. And I wanted to make sure that everything lined up and that it wasn't necessarily like off. So I want to make sure that I have enough spacing. So there's that. And then there's that. So I really like that. I'm not really worried about this area right here not lining up right here because that's where I'm going to put my label. I'm happy with that. So the first piece I'm going to actually put down is the big one. I'm using our Stampin' Seal, which is my to go to for adhesive. I'm just going to move that over a bit. Okay. So then I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to put this one down. You want to make sure that that is lined up. So that's where I was kind of going with. And then I'm going to come in and put down this little piece. Now, you could totally do the opposite pattern if you wanted, but if I did that, it wouldn't really work. So you really need to make sure you decide which patterns you want before you do the cut and shuffle. Okay, as I said, I'm not really worried about this little area here because we're going to cover that up. So that's card number one done, layer. Let's bring in our next one. Once again, we're gonna lay them down and we're gonna put them like this. Just making sure I like the way they look. I'm happy with that. Doesn't that look cute? Looks so frosty. Um.
Okay. All right, so there is our second card for the stack and shuffle. So right now we have these two, kind of cool. Okay, so we're gonna put that over there. And we're gonna bring in our third one and we're gonna bring in the third piece, okay? So we're gonna put that down, make sure we like it, put down the trees, and then we're gonna put this one down. So cute, right? Super, like it's just gorgeous, I love. It. The designer series paper from Stampin' Up. I don't know what those designers are doing, but they're rocking it out of the park these days. Like this is just gorgeous. That I have to say that's my number one go-to when I look for things in the catalog are papers and embellishments. And then I kind of look at like the stamps. Anytime a new catalog comes out, I usually go to the back to look at the new tools and the embellishments and the paper. And then I go back and look through all the stamps. <laughs> um, if you're just joining us, hello, hello. I can't, I can't see comments coming up on my iPad, but not to worry. I will like comment later. All right, so there is our three stamp and shuffle pieces. We have three completely different looking cards, but I love the way that it uses the paper in different ways. It really shows off the pattern. This is a great way for, um, if you've, I don't know if you've heard the term, but love it, chop it. So you take, like, a lot of demonstrators and a lot of customers will buy paper and then we don't use it because it's so beautiful. We don't want to cut into it. But guess what? If you cut into it, you can buy more. And then you can buy more after that. So this is a good Love It Chop It series. I'm gonna say Love It Chop It. And what that means is you're gonna love your paper and chop it and give it away. Cause then I can buy more of this paper. All right. So it's a good Love It Chop It. Hey, um, Lynn, how are you doing? This looks like fun. Thank you. It is a fun technique. Wait till you see the cards and I have an alternative to show you. I uh, hope you're having good days at school and today was a good day for you, considering. Okay, so I have, um, as I told you, my cardstock is four by four and a quarter by 11, sort of five and a half. I'm just using our bone folder. You really want to be um, using like that, just to crease it and makes it nice and smooth. And then we're gonna do our last one. Some people I know just fold the paper. You can score it however you want. Um, I do know a lot of people that just fold the paper, okay? Then I try to like to give it a nice, it helps when you do that to crease it because it helps your envelopes, your paper stay flat. All right, so we're done with these. So let's go ahead and put this on our card bases. At any point you think, wow, this technique is cool. I wanna make some of this and I wanna order that paper. You can head to my blog, which is www.stampwithan.com. I do blog there. I try to do four times a week. I'm not gonna lie, the last two weeks has been a little hit and miss, but I did blog yesterday and today. Um, and you can hit click shop now and head to my online store. There's lots of amazing pro products over there. And you know what? Now's the time to create your wish list, AKA shopping list, AKA Christmas list, because Santa is watching you and everybody wants crafting supplies under the tree. All right, so there is our three card bases. Um, so I'm going to put those aside. Yes, Ashley says this card layout is so fun and easy. I agree, Ashley. Okay, so I have my three circles. Because I am using a photo Palmer stamp set, I need to have something underneath me and I am using our paper piercer mat. Now I just covered it with grid paper so that I don't get the ink on here and then it gets onto another project. So we're just going to do one at a time. We're going to bring in the More Wishes stamp set. We're gonna use Mary and we're gonna use Christmas. So, um, actually I'm gonna switch it up because let's do Christmas in bold. Okay, so I've got Christmas in bold. Just gonna let it rest on my paper. Um, that just helps expand the stamp. And then I'm gonna pick that up. Then I'm gonna use the word Mary. And we're gonna do the same thing. Just now you can tell my Mary is well loved. <laughs> um, I had a class and we used it. And like this is like, they loved the card that we made. I'll show you, we're gonna be showing you that later. Okay, so we're gonna do Mary, we're gonna do Christmas, and we're going to do Christmas in Lost Lagoon and 
Mary in Lost Lagoon and Christmas in Pretty Peacock. I'm switching it up. And actually, you know what? I'm just going to grab a mat here for a minute. So literally when you're stamping, you're just tap, 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 tap. You don't want to press too hard because if you press too hard, then you're going to get ink all over the place and that's not what you want. Okay, perfect. I liked that. So let's move that here. So tap, tap, tap like three times. Bring it in. Now, I need to bring this closer so I can see what I'm doing. And Christmas will fit right there. So look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Like love that this stamp set could easily work for card making and scrapbooking so we're going to put that aside we're going to do this again actually i'm going to move these out of the way so i don't drop my ink stamp on it because i have a tendency to do that stamp it again with there there's our third one and we're going to bring it in our our sorry our second one going to bring in our third one okay oh there so that's good I'm going to clean my stamp I use our stamping mist refill and I love a scrub pad I know a lot of my friends are are chamois lovers but you know what I first started with a scrub pad and honestly that's what I love so let's clean her up let's clean 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 and we're just going to dry it off and now your stamp is nice and clean that you could go to a different color so let's put that over there. All right, so we're going to bring in, we're gonna close our pretty peacock so I don't put my hands in it. And we're going to bring in Lost Lagoon. Okay, and Lost Lagoon is going to be our Mary. So we're just going to tap, 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 tap. And we're gonna put Merry Christmas. Tap, 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 Merry Christmas. And tap, tap, tap. Merry Christmas. So there are our three elements. Let me move this out of the way. Because I don't need that. Let's clean that up again. I'm going to bring that scrub pad in. Clean it. And now I'm ready to go to another stamp. Um, if you use like reds and pinks, they will tint your um, block, your your stamp. Uh, you can. I've heard people say soak it in like warm water and dish soap and the color will go. It does not affect the color of the stamping or anything like that. So it just, to me, this shows me it's well loved. It means I've used it a lot. Okay, so if you have another cool tip for cleaning those, please let me know. All right, so we're gonna bring in our three pieces back. We're going to, we have our Merry Christmas element. I'm going to flip them over and I'm going to get our um, dimensionals, if I can find them. All right, hold on, I gotta go grab another pack of dimensionals on the other side of my desk. I don't know about you, but um, dimensionals are a must in every craft room's desk. <laughs> I use them all the time, like all the time. Amazing how fast you run out of them. Okay, so I just like to bend them. It helps me get the uh, little hexagons up. Okay, so let's... Uh, these down just go quickly quick I like to do things in like stages um, so that they're all done together oops that one has already stickies off of it and one here okay so I'm gonna bring in I have a little container that I like to put adhesives in otherwise I find them everywhere in my house in my garage in my car on my puppy's nose um, yeah it's crazy where you find them okay so now we're just going to adhere that there. So like I said, that helps cover up those sides. Let's bring in the next one. Okay, and then we're just gonna lay that one down there. And then we're gonna do the same here. Okay. Just put that one down there. Okay, so there is our three cards. Stamp, um, stack and shuffle technique. Easy, you can easily cut and make so many cards in a quick, simple way with this stamp and stack shuffle. Stamp, stack, 
stack and shuffle technique. But we're not done yet. We're going to bring in those loose gems. I felt like it just needed something a little like Christmassy. So I'm actually just going to pour these over here because I want to bring this in here. And what I'm going to do is I'm using our take a pick tool, which is another must in my room. And I'm actually going to pick up the holly. So I want to do two per card. So I need six. Uh, there and there. And then I want three of the holly berries. Um, nope, that's not it. There. So now I'm going to put this aside because I literally don't need to hit it and those all go flying because trust me, that's what will happen. Okay, here's another technique, a little trick for you. I'm using glue dots and with our glue dots, they used to be on this side, but now they're on this side. So what I do is I roll them out and then I pick up my dot and I put it down. And then let's flip this over. There we go. And I'll put it on my dot. Makes it easier for um, when you're trying to do all these. And I just make sure when I go to pick them up that they have the. There. Oops. Okay, so I'm just kind of like rolling and putting them down. Oops, that one. Rolling, put them down. And put them down. So now they're all like this. They're much easier. So now I can close the lid on my loose gem so they don't go flying. And I'm just going to put this here. Bring in my take a, take a pick. Take my take a pick. Oh my gosh. And I'm going to pick up, so I'm going to actually switch the other end and pick up my holly berries. And I'm actually going to put them right here. And then I'm going to pick up one of the little gems, little holly. So there is your first card. Isn't that cute? I just love how the little holly berry just adds that little, and I love that it almost like shaded spruce works really well with like Lost Lagoon and Pretty Peacock, so it almost looks like a bluey green. So I think that's why you can get away with that. All right, let's bring in our next one. We'll do the same thing. Pick that up. I just want to make sure there. Um, if you are local to me, I will be posting all my November classes. Um, some are already sold out and others I have spots. So I'm excited to, and I'm trying some new things this month. So I'm excited to welcome you guys into my studio. Um, as I said, everyone needs a friend to craft with. And that is my vision and goal for 2023, 2024. I want people crafting. I want to make people smile. I want to make people happy. And I don't know about you, but crafting does that to me. And I'm hoping that I can help others smile. Because right now, the world is tough. And we all need a friend and to laugh and giggle and smile and eat chocolate and drink hot chocolate. Yeah, that sounds fun. Okay, and listen to music. All right, so there's our third, second one. So let's bring in our third one. Okay, and then I'm going to pick that up. And come back here and grab that. I'm just going to tuck that in because I can see that I kind of went over. Oh, and of course, my puppy says he's excited to meet you too. When I, when I have classes, I'll say to him, oh, the ladies are coming. And he gets so excited and he just goes and sits at the door until they really come. He's a little ham. Okay, so let's pull this away. And I will show you our stamp and stack card. Stamp, stack and shuffle, stack and shuffle. So there's one, there's two, and there's three. Showcasing the stamp and stack and shuffle, I wanna say stamp, stack and shuffle technique. Three cards, same technique, just done differently. What do you guys think? 
Isn't that cool? Okay, so I'm gonna show you, I wanted to show you another way to use these cards. So I have, those are our Christmas ones. So let me show you another idea I did. Oh, I'll actually show you my samples because they do look totally different. So as you said, on this one, I did the Bold Christmas and the Curse of Mary. But on these ones, I did the Bold Mary and the Curse of Christmas. Which one do you guys like better? Do you like the Bold Mary or the Bold Christmas? They're like the exact same cards. I just switched them around. I'd love to know. We'll call this option A or option B. Which one do you guys like better? Only difference is the color, the bold that I did, but everything else is the same. Okay. So let's, um, I'm going to move those out. The Bold Mary. Yes, Leslie, I do. I do agree. I like the Bold Mary. I just think it's a statement. Okay, so I have some other samples to show you before we go. Um, I wanted to um, show you not a Christmassy, but other ways to use the stamp. So when I looked at the stamp, I was like, I really wanted to do a birthday card, but I was like, there's no birthday. I should have grabbed the other one, but that was okay. Um, Oh, a, uh, Lynn says A. Yeah, I agree. Um, which was the Merry Cursive. So I wanted to show you some other patterns. So I brought in the um, Garden Walk Designer Series paper. Um, and I just have little bits of pieces because I have been using it. And this is a six by six. It's part of the Garden Walk collection suite, um, but super cute patterns. Um, there is like some Christmassy, definitely some like that's Christmassy. You could use that for Christmas. But I like the fact that there's each side has a bowl, but then there's geometric on the other side. And I feel like you could use them for non-Christmas or everyday cards. So as you can see, this pattern has great samples. So I decided I wanted to show you another way of doing the stack, um, stack and shuffle. Um, so I picked three of my favorite prints kind of. And I created it with the white. I used Calypso Coral. And then I picked, I kind of stuck with the Pretty Peacock and Calypso Coral. Um, so I picked the three different patterns. So I did this pattern, this pattern, this pattern. And then I did to you because I thought, wow, that's really nice. I like to send cards to my team members and customers. And I thought, well, I could really use this card to just say to you because, and I wanted to emphasize on the you because I wanted it to make them feel special when they got it. And I brought in the, um, I can find them on my desk. I don't know where I put them. The Blooming Pearls embellishments, but I don't see them here. So they're here somewhere. Okay, so there's the one. Here's the other one. And then here, oops, here is the third one using all three of those patterns with the same technique. So what do you guys think? Do you guys like that one too? I would love to know. It's just I love the way the colors, they really... I love this pattern and I thought this pattern worked well and I kind of pulled in the little bit of the clipsal from the flowers. So there is my second sample showing you this stack and shuffle technique. And as I said, this will be on my blog. I will post all the measurements um, and then I will do this on another day and I'll post the measurements and the supplies that I used for you. So there's that one. But I also wanted to show you one more way of using this stamp set. Um, I've been doing classes and I really liked this one. I actually cased this one from another demonstrator. Um, I think it was Sharon Graff. I can't remember. Um, and I just made it look like a Christmas tag. So even if I love putting Christmas tags, like homemade tags on my gifts for Christmas, and I think this would be super easy. Put some Christmas music on. Use the Taylor made tag dies, which are right here. You get 10 dies. Punch out a bunch of dies and just have fun stamping. And while you're listening to Christmas music, or maybe you're going to watch a Christmas movie. Um, and this used the um, Joyful Christmas Designer Series paper. But there's that. So there is our samples tonight showcasing the More Wishes stamp set. I hope you guys enjoyed your Facebook Live tonight. Um, oh, she says, I'm going to give this a try. Thanks for sharing. You're welcome. I hope you liked this technique. I would love to know your thoughts and if you'd like to see more of these ideas because it is a really good way to love and chop your paper because then you can buy more. Um, so just a few reminders recap. We use the More Wishes stamp set, which is right here. You can find it in the September to December catalog. or Jan Well, it's, I think it's done on January 3rd. So um, we're calling it the September to December catalog. 
Um, so more wishes stamp set. I will take pictures of these. I will post this video to my blog and YouTube channel. I will put these on this one. I will put these on my blog so you have samples and then I will give you measurements. And if you at any point like to any order any of these supplies, I would appreciate you. Um, I send happy mail to my customers. I just went to the post office on Tuesday, I was, Monday. I was finally feeling better that I was able to get out of the house and go to the post office. I had a bag filled of stuff with happy mail on its way to my customers and team members. So I hope they like their surprise in the mail. Um, you can head to my blog, www.stampwithann.com. Click shop now. When you're in the online store, it'll ask you for a host code or a code. Uh, you could use this one. I would really appreciate it. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. I will see you next Wednesday night at 7.30. And I forget what stamp set I'm using. I have to create it. I, I made a list of all the stuff I wanted to use in November, but I can't remember what I'm using. So it, it will be Christmas. The next little bit will be Christmas, but I might start to show you some alternatives. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and comment because um, that's how we invite more people into our crafting community. And I will see you guys all next Wednesday night. Go grab yourself a cup of hot chocolate or a warm tea and grab a snack, watch some TV, and enjoy the rest of your evening. Bye, everyone. Have a great night.